welcome back to the project. Forgetting things is not only frustrating, it can land you in some pretty awkward situations. So, what can you do to improve your memory? We sent Sam Mack to find out. Can't remember where you parked your car or where you put your keys? You're not alone. While we may get wiser with age, we also get more forgetful. Your memory can go on forever, but not all of your memories all the time. So there will be one or two memories that you'll be able to keep for the rest of your life. Like maybe first kiss or your wedding day. But it is impossible to remember everything all the time. Our brains have about 100 billion nerve cells or neurons that are each connected to about 10,000 others. It's the way these neurons connect and disconnect to each other with chemicals and electrical pulses that makes up our memory. For example, if you touch a hot stove, the signals from the sensors travel to the brain and change the network of neurons so we can remember not to do it again. Using a variety of quick strategies, the brain selects what to remember and what not to remember. So for example, if it's a very emotional event, then the brain, because the body's reacting and the emotional parts of the brain um, is also reacting, the brain will then choose to think, oh, this must be very important. But some of us have better memories than others, and I'm determined to improve mine with some help from the experts. So, Daniel, tell me what it is that you do exactly. So I'm a memory athlete. And what that means is that I memorise, among other things, large strings of random numbers, shuffle decks of cards, uh, sheets of people's names or abstract images, uh, really anything I can to sort of strengthen and improve my memory. Daniel can memorise a shuffled deck of cards in five minutes, an impressive feat, but a photographic memory isn't the key. He says you simply need to create a mental story around whatever you'd like to remember. Well, let's say you want to remember where you put your keys, and you put your keys down on a table. That's not particularly memorable. But if you put your keys down on the table and then in your head create a visual image of those keys expanding and then the table buckling and cracking under the weight of the keys, you're much more likely to remember where you put those keys. Sounds easy enough, but can you do it for everything? Have you got stories going around your head 24-7? Yeah, absolutely. And to be honest, it makes life a lot more interesting. So what sort of story have you got running through your head re-me, re-my name being Sam? Well, I've got a friend named Sam who's also very tall and like you. And so basically that's how I've remembered your name, by associating you with him. But along with getting more creative, neuroscientist Dr Ji Hun Kim says if you want to look after your brain, start with looking after the rest of your body. Best ways to boost your memory um, would be exercise, walk, have good sleep, eat healthy. Anything that is good for your body will be good for your brain as well. And as you get older, there are some easy ways to keep your memory strong. Studies show mind games like Bridge can reduce your risk of dementia by up to 75%. 84-year-old Lily Allgood's been playing it for more than 60 years and reckons she's as sharp as ever. My memory is virtually perfect. Certainly my card memory. I'm not sure about my real life memory, but I don't think I have any complaints about that either. And the advice from the experts is forgetting some things is normal, so don't stress. Probably stressing out about forgetting is worse for your brain than actually the forgetting itself. Forgetting was developed as a very adaptive mechanism in the brain so that you only keep the important information and that you can move on with past mistakes as well.